Good morning. Today we're going to take a look at the Mamba F411 Nano Stack. So it has a 4 in 1 ESC that can take 2 to 4S and can handle 13 amperes for each ESC with a burst rating of 15 amperes for 10 seconds. It doesn't have a current sensor and it has D-Shot 150, 300, and 600. The mounting is 16mm M2. It has an F4 CPU and an MPU 6000 sensor. It has Petaflight, a 5 volt 1.5 ampere BEC, and supposedly it weighs 5.5 grams. We'll verify that later. Let's open it. So we have a QR code for instructions. and the FC itself. Let's just see what's under. So we have some screws and washers. A 220 farad 25 volt capacitor, an XT30 connector, and nothing else, no wires. So we have the FC itself. It's quite small, very small. The FC is connected to the ESC via these pins. So the problem that I see here is that if you need to reorient your USB port, let's say to the back, then you'll have to desolder this and solder to those very tiny pads there. Let's take it apart and take a closer look. Okay, so here's the bottom of the ESC. So we just have these widely spaced motor pads here and here. And the back pads here. They're quite big and beefy. So on the other side of the ESC, we can see that we have the connector here. So this should be, according to the diagram, it's VCC grounds. And this is VCC, signal 1, signal 2, signal 3, signal 4. So this is the bottom of the FC. So we just have the F4 CPU here. And the connectors, which just correspond to the ESC. So we have VCC, and these are grounds, VCC. And signal 1, signal 2, signal 3, signal 4. So here's the top of the FC. We have the boot button here, the OSD chip, the MPU 6000 gyro. We have the pads here for the camera, 5 volts, ground, and camera video in. And we have pads here for the buzzer, buzzer plus, buzzer minus, the USB port, and then pads for the LED. So LED, ground, 5 volts. And then we have here pads for the VTX and the RX. So for the VTX, we have 5 volts, ground, TX2 for smart audio, video out. And then for the RX, we have ground, 5 volts, 3.3 volts for DSM receivers, PPM, and SBUS. The SBUS pad is actually a general purpose receiver input pad. It automatically detects the protocol and activates or deactivates the inverter. So you should be able to use FlySky, uh, DSMX, and other non-inverted protocols. 
So I guess it shouldn't be a problem to orient the FC this way with a USB port at the back. So what you can do is just to snake the motor wires through here, wrap it around and then out here. And then you can solder it to the pads. Let's weigh it. So it's 6.5 grams, which is heavier than what's stated in the box. It's probably the screws, washers, and nuts, and we should be able to lighten it up a little bit. This is a good alternative FC for power whoops and toothpick style builds. It's actually the best option because the way I see it, if you blow an ESC, you can simply swap out the ESC board. So that's it for my unboxing and overview of the Mamba F411 Nano. This is a good quality stack and it definitely has a place in your build. Thank you for watching.